Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Can't Touch This and today I have an expandable double extender that looks like that, incredibly fast and only in a 2x4x4 space here um, now I must say I have made actually made one that is smaller than this it's only it's 4 high, 3 across and 2 wide which shaves off this layer but it's very inconsistent and kind of a bit derpy and it'll probably break in a future update so I'm showing this version which is still the smallest so that you input on this bottom line here and you only need this two lines of redstone here which also makes it very small because you only need this tiny little cross section here to actually make the whole function there's no extra repeaters or anything like a lot of other designs now this works on a pretty simple I would say concept that when I power, if I just remove this um, redstone here, when I depower, well when I power this, it, de it depowers that torch, powers this on, creates two ticks of delay there, which very simply just does that part. And then if I power this line again, just after it's turned off, just there, it will actually, instead of repowering this and firing this back down again, it will actually catch these pistons and fire them. So as you can see, normally, if I um, just do this, normally you'll see it will just fire those down. It will just, these pistons will fire. But if I do it with the close, so close to this turning off, that actually happens. This is this principle is very reliable. It should work on bucket servers, to my knowledge. And yet, yeah, this is it. And I'll now put a tutorial on how to make it. So to start off with, you're going to have your double extenders here. I think I've got 14, which is the maximum amount this design can allow for. So you're going to input on these. You can input on any of these green blocks along here, like so. And you just run a redstone line along that. And then exactly the same to power the top pistons, so you just bring a line across here, but you can't input on this line. Like so, and you can have your lever at any point along this bottom line here. And now, I'm trying to power that, nothing's going to happen. So I need to get power up here, and I do that just by um, putting a torch into there, and then another one there, half slab there, we'll come on to that later, and put that there. So, I'm going to do that, that will push down and then this is powered here, then I'll turn this one off instantly when I let go of the wire, and then two ticks later the top one will retract, doing that. And now all we need is the pulse limiter for the um, last retraction. So if I just build my platform, which is going to be 2x4 out here, then from this torch we're going to have a repeater, go into block with redstone and a piston, and this is our pulse limiter. I'll, it'll go into there. So when this torch turns on, it'll power this dot of um, redstone, which will then push this piston up at the, and the block at the same time, which will create a very short pulse out of here. And all that does is goes into a block and does that. And now this is the reason why we have a half slab here, is because we don't want this line powering, being able to go down and power this, because if well, if I just do it like this for the moment, and then turn it off, you can see it all works perfectly. But if I'd have done this without the half slab, the, the first piston will fail. Because instead of this piston being powered, this piston gets powered by this block. And that's why we need a half slab here. So once you've done all that, it should work perfectly. So I've had a change of heart and I will show you the more compact design. It's 3 by 4 by 2 it's very small. It uses the torches again for adding two ticks to lay there. And that torch is an inversion of the input which goes into that redstone which goes through the um, pulse limiter and you'll see this happens. And that's the problem. It pulses it but you really need a one tick pulse so it will retract, but this is two ticks, so you need some way to update those pistons. You can do that in a few ways. The first one is 
um, just putting piston there. You see, when it's closed, it's not much, it's no bigger, but it sticks out there, as you'll see. When I close it, it works. Or, if you don't like it on that end, what you can do is you just extend your line out here, like that, and you've just got a normal piston there. If you have a stick heel, um, grab a block from below, if you have a one there. You can see that will also update it, but it limits by one the amount of pistons you can have in this row. So that's the only problem with this. Um, otherwise, it is a very nice design if you don't mind having the extra piston on the end. So, yeah. So, leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my future content. So, and this has been TT Lemon.